So if your black and white photos are coming back flat, there are multiple different things you can do to fix that. Number one is metering. The odds are is if your photos are flat or say muddy, it's because they've been underexposed and all you have to do is open up a stop or two and they'll look that much better. You can do that in ISO by underrating your ISO, like say it's 400, you could shoot it as 200, get it developed normally, but I prefer to do it in metering. You could just meter for the shadows and that will typically give you a little bit more light and it's gonna make your photos look a lot better. Number two is film selection. So this comment came from a video about Ferrania P30, which is known for its higher contrast. Yes, you could shoot with that film. It's not as common and it does have very high contrast and can be a bit unforgiving depending on the light that you're photographing. So I'd recommend say a Kodak Trix 400, which is an iconic film and it has great contrast straight from box speed compared to say Ilford HB5, which is known for its more subtle tones and lower contrast. At the darkroom.com, we have the film index that rates all the different films that are available these days, including black and white. And you can go through and look at the different ratings for their ISO, for their grain, for you know their exposure latitude, including contrast. So if you want high contrast or say low contrast, you can search that at our film index at thedarkroom.com. Number three is filters. If you're shooting with black and white film and you want a little bit more contrast, you could shoot with a yellow filter or an orange filter or even a red filter, which is gonna give you even more contrast and filters can really help you have more control over your end result with black and white film. And then number four is pushing your film. Say you really like HP5, but you just want a little bit more contrast. You could take the 400 ISO film shoot it as 800 and then meter for it as 800. And then when you send it into the lab to get it developed, have it pushed one stop to compensate for that underexposure. And a push is gonna increase your contrast, giving it a little bit more punch. So if these were helpful and you wanna learn more about all four of these points, we actually have blogs about all of them. So let me know in the comments below or send me a message and I'll send you those blogs. If you're interested, we'd love to help.